Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Dr. Seema Jain. I'm a SEBI registered research analyst. My job is to give you the best research. And I'm just hoping that you all are joining me for the live trading. If you don't know where to get the link, you need to come to my YouTube channel. And tomorrow's, uh, we have already done today's live trading. Yesterday we had a live learning class. Today we had a live trading class where we have given the various options and those options I have also bought. I gave Adani Enterprises call option. I gave Emphasis call option. I gave SRF call option. I gave Tata Steel call option. And all of them have given very, very good profit. So do join us for the live trading every single day. We are providing that on our, through our YouTube channel, which is simply Stock Pro. So now I'm going to discuss about Nifty and Back Nifty. So today, if you see Back Nifty open equal to low like how back nifty started uh, not really this one uh, today's 25th here this is where back nifty started open equal to low and after that first five minutes it just went on and then it could not sustain this movement in the upper direction came down breached its day low and then it rested it came down to a very very strong support zone the strong support zone was 36455 and from there you know it rested for some time and then when i saw these small tiny candles getting formed and when the resistance of 36570 was broken i we have entered in a call option so this was our trade of back nifty now i want you also to have a look at the haikanishi candles in case you have a look at haikanishi candles Haikanishi candles give you a lot of opportunity. See here, these doji candles that have formed. And these doji kind candles are an indication that there could be a reversal possible. And if you just draw a tiny rectangular box out here, and whenever the box breaks, you can go for a call or put whichever direction the breakout happens. So I, I actually was watching these candles and when the resistance was broken, that's when we entered into a call option. So this was our back 50 trade. And uh, similarly, let's have a look what lies ahead. What can be expected in upcoming days? So we'll analyze it with the help of one day time frame. If you just have a look at today's one day time frame, you will see that Nifty, back Nifty is actually formed a doji. Doji means there is indecisiveness. Market is indecisive, right? Above today's high, market will be bullish. Below today's low, market will be bearish. But looking at the various instruments, looking at the various components of the Bank Nifty, I have a feeling that Bank Nifty may give a positive breakout. Now, support zone is going to be remaining the same where it took the support today. That, that place is going to be our support zone. If Bank Nifty comes back to 36,460 and takes a bounce from here because it has taken multiple support at this level. Again, today it took a support and then it bounced from here. So, and the, again, tomorrow if we get the Bank Nifty at about 36,455, 460 for about half an hour or 45 minutes, we can expect Bank Nifty to take a support or if the level is broken, then it may further go down. Now, with the help of option chains, what are we going to do? We will analyze what looks to be a possibility by looking at the option chain. So have a look at the option chain. You see there is some in the money call option that have been written in back Nifty. Not massive, but some call options have been written. So in case I have a look at this point, this becomes a very strong resistance, 37,000. Whereas support comes out to be at 36,600 is looking like a very, very strong support zone. So what am I expecting? I'm expecting in case tomorrow there is a gap down opening, then I'm expecting 36,450 to behave as a very strong level. If 36,450 is broken, then Nifty will, back Nifty will go down. Otherwise, it may take a support from here and bounce back again. Now let's, and all, this is all I'm telling you with respect to the futures right they are not cash levels let's analyze what is happening in the nifty today so nifty gave a slight gap down opening and it did not sustain itself and further came down then if you see on a broader perspective like if you just analyze you know i have made a youtube video 
a few uh, days back where i did tell you that there are these simple techniques which can help you make good money see here this is this is the video that i have made one month ago which is about nifty back nifty price action strategy have a look at this this price of nifty for almost like starting from 9.50 to about 2 o'clock, Nifty was range bound. It made one shoulder, head, another shoulder, and then it has given a breakout. And this is what exactly I have explained in the video, that sometimes you find a double top formation here. See double top formation here. And after that, you see the, because it, it happened towards the end of the day, so we will not consider this. But here, entire day, almost like uh, from 10 to 2, almost like 3 hours, um, Nifty was range bound and then it has given a breakout. And look at this, I have also told you, you need to watch the volumes. Volumes were lesser and suddenly huge, bigger volumes appeared. And after that, you see how the movement has come. Nifty moved almost like uh, 60 points and 60 points translate to about 25 to 30 points in the options. So this was a very, very nice move that Nifty gave. Now, what can be expected? Where could expiry be expected? So have a look at it. This is a little bearish sign, but the reversal from the lower levels shows that Nifty may be slightly positive. Okay, now with this information, let's have a look into the Nifty's option chain. What is happening in Nifty's option chain? There is something more drastic happening in the Nifty's option chain than with respect to the Bank Nifty. See here, there has been unwinding at this level in the put. In the money puts have been unwinded. There is out of the money put also that has been unwinded. So there, uh, there seem to be 16,500 could be a level that could be looked into. And something more uh, important to be noticed here is that there has been in the money call option writing at 16600 and 16650 that means these two levels will behave as a strong resistance so uh, what i understand by looking at the nifty's price action and the option chain that nifty is definitely more weaker than the back nifty and support stands at 16500 somewhere here is the support here here is the support this level is the support this is the support level and resistance stands right here wherever nifty is 16 16 600 16 650 that's where the resistance is so nifty's expiry range as of now looks between 16 500 and 16 uh, 650 150 point range let's see how it goes now i'm going to share my list of stocks and when i'm giving you the list of stocks i'm giving you for the month of august it's not like in a day or two a, uh, July month expiries there. I'm talking about the month of August. And there are one or two stocks which I'm going to give to our webinar members. Like I give um, Honey Autowell, I give PEL, I give Honey Autowell, I give for the month of uh, July. Month of July, it has beautifully given almost like two, three thousand points. And similarly, I've given PEL and P Paramel Enterprises that has also given beautifully almost uh, close to its final target. It didn't hit the target, but it's close. I mean, people have probably exited it. So now in a similar fashion, I'm giving you the series for the month of July, August. So the first stock that I have in my radar is Deepak NTR. Deepak NTR, where is our entry? Our entry is going to be somewhere around at the place of uh, 16, 18, 18, 16, 18, 18. That's where we will enter 1880. Our first target will be 1920. And after 1920, the next target is going to be 2000. So that's my first stock, Deepa Kentia. And for the month of August, you must remember that. Next looks very good at this point of time is Indus in Bank. Look at today's open equal to low candle, inside candle, and barrier have been broken. The, the you know, like the closing have been very, very good. So above 966. I'm expecting it to go till about 996 and then about till 1000 and so and so forth. Then the next stock that I'll find looking very, very good is SRF. SRF above, above 2410. Above 2410, it looks to be heading for a target of 2495. 
2490 and after 2490 a target of 2540 can be surely expected then lt lnt lnt is looking very strong again but at which point above 1785 or 1786 we can buy it and our stop loss is going to be very small of about 30 points 1750 and our targets could be the top of this candle which is 1850 so almost like uh, almost like 60 70 points target is what i'm looking at in case 1850 1860 is crossed then a target of 1900 can also be looked into the next stock that looks very positive at this point of time is rbl rbl bank right rbl bank above 96 above 96 it looks 96.5 it looks to be heading for a target of uh, you know this target surely looks promising 102 and after 102 a target of 114 can be expected so this could be entire month of august that you can expect it to do and another beautiful stock you know like i have given it to our members i've i've given it in another video also i think two days back or three days back i told that there are volumes that have appeared in this stock look at the volume at the bottom here on this particular day but yesterday it gave a negative uh, candle today again some volumes have appeared not as good as this crossing this boundary which is 418 can lead it to a target of about 424 and 430 and so and so forth till a target of 450 one can easily expect so wipro is looking extremely good to me at this point of time united phosphorus united phosphorus is again ready for a breakout but above today's high which is uh, 738 and above 738 a target of 750 and 760 and 770 70 can be expected please i'm not talking about with respect to the july month don't do trading in the july month call options i'm talking about the next month so be careful a very very strong stock on my radar for a target of exactly 10,000. this is where my target will be and that stock is atul right what can you do with atul you can buy its futures and maybe august or september month because you need some time so that this stock can give you a beautiful breakout the fact is very simple you know like the stock went horizontal the price the volume dried up and then there is sudden volume expansion for the last two days above today's high above today's high which is above 8944 you definitely expect a target of at least uh, thousand points from this place and in case um, i don't know i i don't want to say but even i would like to go for a call option of nine thousand but not when how which month that i'm not going to tell you right now we will i'll probably give it on the you know our premium channels but i will be continuously watching this stock so another last stock on the buy side that i have is mcdowell McDowell looks good above 870. Above 870 for a target of 1000. We surely can look for the month of August. Let's see. I want you people to keep these stocks on your radar and do report it to me in case you find the set target that I've given you. Um, you come back to this and just write your comments. The first target for McDowell is going to be 940. In, because there has been a past barrier in case 940 crosses then triple nine or thousand is going to be a direct target some immediate sell trades that i have on my radar are first trade that you can have a look is mnm mnm looks very very strong as far as selling is concerned look at this open equal to high candle here it tried to go up like it's it's been under stress for quite many days this open equal to high candle it came down then again tried to go up then again open equal to high and then came so below this place like below this place which is 1130 we can expect some more fall till about 111 but i am not a bearish person by nature so uh, what i would prefer to do i do not want to sell M mahindra and mahindra what i would prefer to do is i will sell its call option I will sell it 1160 which will allow me to you know uh, eat the premium if the stock falls down or it doesn't go up so i'm not expecting like it does look to me pretty bearish but 
I will be selling the call option. That will be my uh, stance on this particular stock. Another stock that I want you to keep on your radar for sure is Ambuja Cement. Ambuja Cement has formed double top today. Ambuja formed the double top today. So any anytime it breaks today's low, which is 370, definitely expect a fall till about 366. And if 366 is broken, uh, then uh, 360, if 365 is broken, then you can expect a target of about um, 360. And after 360, a target of uh, 356 can also be expected. So here also, I am not planning to short it because I feel market is going to be positive. But what could be my stance? Because I believe there is a boundary at 375 in Ambuja, I will be selling its call option. That will be my way of trading. So guys, in case you find my work interesting, if in case you find that I create value in your learning process, please do like, share and subscribe. And I mean, absolutely your choice. I'm not forcing and I'm not saying that you must do it. Absolutely your choice, but I am forcing you to do join me for live trading because that's where I give you beautiful trades where you make good money and um, I would be very happy if you trade along with us and make good money. So all the best, take care and see you in the next video.